All right, everybody. Adam with High Desert Hollow. Um, a couple exciting things going on here at the homestead. Lucy and I have decided that uh, we need to have a solar panel system as part of our personal preparedness and cost-saving venture. Um, first got turned on to this by LDS Prepper. He's actually kind of a neighbor. He lives down the road a little ways, but uh, and he's got a t channel here on YouTube too. Uh, go If you haven't checked his channel out, go to look at his. It's LDS Prepper if you just look at that in the YouTube search bar. But I got Big Dog Solar out here, which is the same guys, that, or Big Dog Energy, I guess. Um, we're the same guys that put in LDS Prepper's setup. Um, I did a bunch of research too, and I came to the same conclusion he did, that these guys are the ones to have to do it. So, exciting stuff. we got the guys out here right now. They're getting the site prepped. They're getting ready to get everything leveled up, lined out, marked up, and then we're going to drill some holes, auger them out so we can get a post set in the ground for the racking system. It's kind of a neat setup. Hopefully when it's all said and done, we should net zero out, so we shouldn't have actually have a power bill. And with all the tax incentives and stuff going on right now, this is just it's just a win-win situation. We once it's all paid for, we won't have a power bill, and the payment for the system is actually just my power, basically my power bill plus a little bit to uh, pay for it. So and then that way we we won't even have a power bill when this happens. And then if something happens, if power goes out, because here in Idaho we have pretty. Uh, uh, we can have pretty rough winters, I guess, is the best way to put it, and uh, different storms and stuff coming through. And when we get a storm, it's a good one. And we do have frequent power outages. So with this system, I had them put a quote in, and we're putting in a battery backup. That way uh, our essential stuff in the house will still be working, like our well and the uh, freezers and the fridge and a small amount of lighting in the house. That way it'll uh, we'll be able to still function if power goes out which is good so um, I'm gonna keep uh, videoing some of this and we're just gonna keep going this is gonna be a couple week process to do this but uh, way exciting this is like I said it was a big a big decision a big deal for us to make this move but once you get over the initial sticker shock of the system and look at the big picture I don't like I said I don't think you could lose at this it's it's win 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 and the panels are rated to last a long time. Um, and when and LDS Prepper goes into that, he's I'm not going to go into all the research and stuff because he did such a phenomenal job on his videos uh, for his solar system on how and how it saves the money and goes from there. So, anyways, so we're just going to keep going from here. All right, everybody. Next step in the solar project. We just got all the poles. They're all where they're supposed to be. Set in concrete. Now we just got to let them sit and cure. And next week they'll be back, and we'll uh, end up uh, getting the racking up, and then they're going to put the panels up after that. Pretty exciting. They did a pretty good job. Move you over here a little bit. Sorry for the motion sickness stuff. But you can see, they did a good job. In a straight line, the whole nine yards. They, these guys are professionals. They know what they're doing. And they did a really good job. I was really impressed. So just keep on going with it. That's what we got going uh, here at High Desert Hollow. Just trying to live a more self-reliant lifestyle, and promote modern homesteading. So Adam with High Desert Hollow, signing out.